hello everyone welcome to another system jones video in this video i am going to show how to install microtik cloud hosted router on vmware workstation microtik cloud hosted router is a router os version uh, aimed for running as a virtual machine it supports both 86 and 64 bit processor architecture and it can be used most of the popular hypervisors that are uh, VMware, Hyper-V and so on. Microdig CHR has four licensing scheme. Uh, these are free P1, P10 and P100. And the, all the router OS packages are available uh, from these four licensing scheme but they have uh, per interface speed limit upload only upload speed limit and the price are here what we are going to do in this video in this video uh, we will download microdix csr dx ms and that is vmdk for vmware orchestration from microdix download page and uh, we will customize uh, vmware networking so that our virtual router have two uh, um, network interface one will be uh, uh, one will be used for uh, one connection and another will be used uh, for LAN connection and then we will create new virtual machine for our microtech chr and then we will access our virtual uh, microtech router from winbox first we will download microtech uh, chr from microtik download base so search microtik chr download and current stable version is 6.45.5 and cloud hosted router and we will download bmdk for vmware workstation Okay. It will take some time to download and I will already download it from my product download page and um, copy it on desktop. So uh, I have already installed VMR workstation on my uh, operating system. If you don't have uh, download and install it yet, go to VMware vmware.com and download it from there and then install on your operating system uh, now i am running vmware workstation first we will customize vm networking because we have um, two network adapter so we will create two virtual switches and each switch will use these two network adapter as their uplink connection so go to edit and then click virtual network editor and then click change settings here three virtual switches are present uh, we will keep only two so remove it first and first virtual switch will be connected to our LAN inter uh, WLAN interface so choose breeze and then choose our wireless network adapter and second virtual switch will be connected to our LAN network adapter so click on it and then choose breeze and then choose our LAN network adapter and then click apply and it will update network information click apply ok now we will create virtual machine ok so go file and then click new virtual machine from here choose custom and then click next nothing here just click next and I will install operating system later so click next from here 
click on other and then choose other 64 bit and then go to then click next and virtual put virtual machine name i will put micro chr and then click next now virtual machine have one socket processor socket and two core and then click next and now virtual machine memory <coughs> i will choose 1 gb mm, 1 gb on tv okay then click next now here network connection will be breeze and click next i will controller type lsi says logic and then click next here virtual disk type should be id okay then click next and here choose use an existing virtual disk and then click next now browse our downloaded vmdk file uh, i copy it on desktop and choosing from desktop okay and then click next now i will go to customize hardware because by default i will have only one network adapter and so i will create another one so click on add and then click network adapter and finish here i have also another network adapter and my first network adapter will be connected to my wlan network card and the related switch so choose vmnet0 and network 2 adapter it will also be connected to vm net one switch and then close and finish now power on the virtual machine start up mm, do you want to try connect virtual no okay my product chr is now booting now login the default name admin, login name is admin and password blank so just click hit enter okay now now i am connecting a uh, physical switch to my lan network and so these two are connected okay now open winbox and discover our router yes this is our virtual router and click connect okay address this is our new virtual router my product chr and thanks for watching this video if you have any query please put in in comment and if you are a newcomer and don't forget to subscribe our channel bye bye